Hi, my name is Darrell Klassen. I'm a PGA golf professional and I've been teaching the game of golf for over 42 years. What we're going to do today is we're going to teach you because everybody wants to hit the ball longer and everybody wants to keep it in the fairway so they call that hitting it straighter. We're going to talk about that a little bit. What we're really here to do is teach you how to add some good yardage, some very, very distinguishable yardage to your golf shots today. And we're going to show you how to keep the golf ball in play no matter what you do with it. You're going to and in order to add yardage to our golf shot, we have to have something in the golf swing that's called release. Release very simply is a motion or something that takes place when you hold this golf club very lightly in your fingers, hardly even touch it, and just swing it gently and your hands aren't even touching the golf club, it's just in your fingers. You will notice when you're doing that and just swinging it, the club head feels like it rotates or turns over. Now, if you take your hands and put them together and still don't really hold the club, you're just pinching in your fingers, you'll find that all you can really do is take your wrists and snap them, kind of, and snap the club head, the head, club head downward. When we do this, that release motion is accelerated, but it's not accentuated. We don't get extra release, we just get a strong release, and it begins to add club head speed. All of you, or most of you, are swinging the golf club with your arms. In fact, to swing with your arms, you're reverse shifted and you're swinging to here because the way God made us, if I swing my arms and shoulders, the feet don't move to speak of. They just stay planted to give a foundation or a leverage point to be able to swing all of this upper power, this upper motion. But just like throwing a ball, if you feel like you take this club in your fingers more and you use your glove hand to throw the club head, your feet will work. In fact, they'll work automatically. You can't stop them. And to make sure that they work automatically, set up with just a little extra weight on this right side by tilting your spine just a little bit. This increases the loft of your shot. So just tilt your spine a little bit. As you'll notice in the background of the trees, that moves my head off of the ball just a little bit. We've been told in golf to keep our head still over the golf ball. In fact, there's some old wives' tales. Keep your head still. You've probably heard that one. We just mentioned it. Keep your left arm straight. <laughs> Keep your head down and follow through high. If I were to try to do that, I'd have my left arm straight. I'd have my head down on my lap. I'd be trying to stay still and trying to follow through high. I can't even move. Those things are not what we want to do to make a good athletic motion. If I were going to take this club and swing it like a baseball bat, or if I were going to feel like I wanted to throw it out into the fairway, I would have the club in my fingers. I don't want to hit with this golf club. I want to feel as though I'm throwing this golf club. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because when I was a youngster, until I was about 22 or 3 years old, I threw my share of golf clubs. <laughs> so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we don't want to throw the club on the golf course. But you're going to throw the club head in a good golf swing. You get here and you snap. Now if you watch a good touring professional, he doesn't swing the club like that. See where my wrists are? That's pathetic. You won't see that. What you'll see is a good touring pro Right it somewhere up in here, it doesn't matter where, the wrists set. When the wrists set, they're actually setting upward in order to pound back downward. Okay, there's tremendous leverage in the wrist. So if I take the wrists here and if I throw them vertically, I'm going to probably either break my ankle or break the golf club. But if I throw the golf club at the proper angle with my hands, left hand in particular, if I throw the club with that hand, it appears to you like I've made a golf swing, when in fact all I've really done is feel like I throw the golf club. 
I've allowed the hand to set, the weight to be on this side, snap the club, the club feels like it flips over. It doesn't flip over, but it feels like it does, just like in a baseball swing. That feeling of flipping over is called release. If your club does not feel like it's flipping over, then you are swinging your arms. And if you're swinging your arms, you are feeling the shaft of the club while you swing. But if you're throwing the golf club with your fingers, you're feeling way more speed and you're getting some feedback that tells you you're starting to feel the club head. That's really important. So if I were to take a golf ball here, put it on a little tee for you. I won't say a little tee. I've got it teed up a bit. I'm going to tilt my spine a little bit, which puts the extra weight on my right side. I'm going to snap the club with my hands. I'm not going to take a whole lot of time to do this. Holy cow, I should have saved that for the golf course. Gee, me Christmas, that works. <laughs> now, when you're watching that, you don't see a lot of motion taking place. It looks pretty fluid. And yet that golf ball has hit at least 230 or 40 yards and I'm crippled in the hips and knees. It doesn't take much to turn this releasing motion into distance. However, now there's where we start to get our extra distances in the release. However, 